We just got a new trailer for Ahsoka and unsurprisingly, it looks great. And this has actually assuaged all of my fears. Let's talk about it. We start out with Balin looking like a badass and dropping hard lines. I imagine when him and Jim first boarded the ship, they were greeted like, oh, thank you, Jedi are here. But then of course to that, he says, we are no Jedi. And right off the bat, this makes me so happy because I think they're going to do what I predicted. Remember in Rebels when Ahsoka said this? Revenge is not the Jedi way. I am no Jedi. In that moment, Ahsoka was out for blood. She did not know this was Anakin behind the mask. She just thought this was a random guy who had killed him and she was looking for vengeance. I think it's very likely that Balin is doing the exact same thing. And this is a fascinating parallel because it's gonna force them to ask the question, what does it mean to be a Jedi? And are the Jedi needed? What is the difference between Balin and Ahsoka? If they feel like the tenants of the Jedi were holding them back and they were doing what they feel is right outside of those rules, What's the difference between those two? I can't wait to dive into it. I think something important that we're going to learn in this series is that to find the future of the Jedi, we have to learn its past. And that's why we keep seeing callbacks to very ancient stuff that looks like it predates the Jedi. Here we get this beautiful statue that looks a lot like the daughter. And is that I have Eden from Assassin's Creed? Nah, can't be. But is it? Now I'm going to call it partial shenanigans on the next line here. What happens when we find Thrawn? power such as you've never dreamed it's highly probable that those two lines do not go together but but it's possible that they do the one thing thron has never truly been able to account for was force users and if he is going up against force users he's going to want to study their history their artwork their past and in that process maybe he's uncovered something that is going to be very important or very powerful also this is just a really cool scene we get to see morgan elsbeth I don't know if she's using the force here or not. I see a little green flame, so it could be some night sister shenanigans. But look at this. I know people were in the past theorizing this was the world between worlds, but nah, this is a star map. Now this is all legends, but in KOTOR, these star maps were ancient Rakatan technology. And where did they leave? They led to the Star Forge. And if someone had that, yeah, that would be power such as you've never dreamed. That would mean a war is coming. So that's my current theory. And Ahsoka, having found out that this is what's going on, lets Hera know. And that's why Hera is pleading. Like, we need help to prevent a future war. Then we get this line about Ahsoka having walked away from Anakin, also walking away from Sabine as her student. Now, I don't think we'll see Sabine doing telekinesis or anything like that, but we remember that Kanan did say this. Or maybe because she doesn't have the force, you don't believe she can do this? No, the force resides in all living things, but you have to be open to it. Sabine is blocked. But again, Ahsoka is struggling with her identity with what it means to be a Jedi. Sabine even says, you never made things easy for me, master. This is reminiscent of early rebels because Kanan was feeling that way about training Ezra. As someone who hadn't even passed the trials himself, shouldn't there be someone better to train him? Well, I don't want the best teacher. I want you. And we get a good look at Ezra and he sounds great. He says, as a Jedi, sometimes you have to make the decision that no one else can but I'm counting on you to see this through. And then Sabine pulls a Kanan. Just like when he decided he was ready to save Hera. And when Ahsoka said this, it finally clinched it for me. Sometimes we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. I think this whole series is gonna be Ahsoka going from an independent, unaffiliated force user to once again, considering herself as a Jedi and redefining what being a Jedi means to the galaxy and its importance. There are some fights that no one else can wage, and without a code to live by, it'd be easy to end up like Balin. Also, we get to see a live action Purgle, and that's just super cool. That has me really excited, and I think that's probably where we're gonna find Ezra. If it's not this location, then at least they were using it to like, I don't know, track their migration patterns. I'm really excited though that she's Sin and Sabine fight. She says, you have no power, but we all know she don't need power. And then we finish up with a bunch of action shots, but I'm just so excited. My biggest fear was that this story was not going to focus on Ahsoka. I kept hearing people say this Rebel season five, it's Rebel season five. I want Ahsoka season one. And it looks like this is exactly what it is. Ahsoka is Creed to Rebels Rocky. Anyways, I think this looks great. It's Star Wars at its finest. It's a bunch of different factions who are all have different odds. The New Republic is not the same as 
what the rebel crew are, which is also not quite the same as what Ahsoka is. We know that Balin and Shin are not working for the Empire, they're working against them. We have Inquisitors here that they're all fighting against, and we have to see where all of this leads. And Thrawn, Thrawn is who I'm most excited to see. He looks great in this. Uh, I know he's going to sound great having, you know, the voice actor reprise the role. The big question that remains is how are they going to do Thrawn and are they going to do the book Thrawn justice? I mean, book Thrawn doesn't actually care about the Empire. He sees them more as a means to an end. And every time we see him, he appears to be on a ship with different technology than we're used to, which I believe to be a Trist ship. But I'm not going to get too far ahead of myself because I know the upcoming Dave Filoni film is going to be called Heir to the Empire. And if that has Thrawn, Obviously, that storyline is not going to be resolved in the show. But yeah, it looks great. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe, and do all the things. I really appreciate it. And may the force be with you always.